We'll haul away for Rosie, away, haul away. We'll haul away for Rosie, oh. And then I met a La Hava girl, and she was sweet and sassy. Away, haul away. We'll haul away for Rosie, away, haul away. We'll haul away for Rosie, oh. We get to take her out today on a fine, fair day and go race around the buoys. And we do so to honor the fishermen who, uh, who raced around a very similar course a long time ago. And we do it to recognize their hard work and the dirty and dangerous business that was fishing, and particularly dory fishing. And uh, we do it to honor the, the legacy and the cultural history of this town. Um, we also do it because it's an awful lot of fun. Dylan Benson here, KPN TV. We are on the Schooner Adventure and we are going to be here for the races. Let the races begin. Is this your first time doing the races? Yes, this is races? my first race, absolutely. So yep. have you watched them before? Is I have it, watched yep. them, yep. I've always watched. We go to Brace Cove or go to the back shore and, and watch, and it's so cool being out here with all these boats. It's really beautiful. Last year, Adventure came in second, which was so, so cool, because that was the first time Adventure had raced in a long time. Came in second last year, and I think the Virginia beat Adventure, and Virginia isn't here this year, so it's a definite no-brainer. So it's a shoe-in. It's a sh that's the word. It's a shoe-in. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Sure. So my job has been essentially to help this big community work together to get to this point. So uh, I essentially coordinated this beautiful team that we have to to make what you see today and that's what we're out here celebrating. We're out here racing but we're out here celebrating too. Celebrating too. Now what goes into pulling the sails? We saw all that. Tell us a little bit like it was it was kind of a challenge. It is a challenge. It's, uh, I believe this is one of the biggest mainsails in the continental U.S. and uh, uh, it takes a ton of people to get the sail up. We were in a race actually last year and uh, we placed second and I believe Virginia came in first. Um, this year there's a lot of really beautiful fast boats and we hope to do as well as we can and, and see how we place. All right, and how fast are we going to uh, It's hard for me to judge right now. We're probably doing something like eight knots. If we get lucky, we can do something more like 10 or 11. I've been with the adventure for three years. I've been documenting the restoration process. When I joined uh, in June of 2012, there was nothing below deck, it was just the shell. And to watch these amazing people um, put, put her together and, and have a full forecastle, galley, um, fish hold, captain's quarters, engine room down below, and get her sailing again last year when we got the sails on for the first time in 20 years when the, the wow. crew of the Amistad came up to help us uh, get the booms and gaffs up in the sails. It wow. was very exciting. Uh, see her, see her on the water again after all these years. And how do you think the race so far is going? I think it's fantastic. Um, we've divided the crew into four separate parts. Okay. So real quick, what are those four parts? Uh, we, we've divided them by sails. So we have the jib team, the jumbo team, the foresail, and the main. So, yeah. What is this over here real quick? What are they doing? What are they uh, working on over here? Right now they're sheeting in the foresail. So it takes quite a few people to muckle onto that and haul it in. As you can imagine, there's quite a large amount of square footage to pull in. And even though we've got blocks to assist with mechanical advantage, uh, it still still takes some manpower. Still got to get that muscle going on. Absolutely. We are racing right now. Right now. As, 
started. Back there are racing us. So are they behind us or are we ahead of them? Uh, well, we're winning. Okay. So <laughs> that's all I know right now. Okay. Because all those guys way back there are also racing. Oh, they're all so, racing? Yeah, all the big schooners. All right. the big schooners are yeah, racing. Yeah, those are the ones we, we care about. Okay. Enjoying the weather. Last year was the first year that I was um, I was actually on um, the American Eagle um, last year, and uh, there wasn't any wind, so this is a lot more, more exciting. Oh, I think Adventure is performing just beautifully. She's pointing up. Uh, she's uh, got great boat speed. She's handling the waves just beautifully. We're thrilled. We're thrilled to have her on, on the sea. What do you think of today's conditions, the weather and the wind? Oh, it's perfect for Adventure. She can handle a lot of wind, and she can handle a rough sea. So we're right in the thick of it. Dylan Benson here, we're on The Adventurer, and we're wrapping up here right now. The American Eagle came in first, The Adventurer came in second place, hoping for first next year. This has been our report of the 2014 Mayor's Race for KPN TV.